This is 50.com. This is 50 Radio. It's Heineken the Scum Lord standing next to my right. They call you the bad guy. The bad guy, Tax Stone. For the people that don't know who you are, give them a brief introduction of Tax Stone, Tax Season, why people should listen to your podcast. Well, my name is Tax Stone. I'm from East New York, Brooklyn. Like, I'm from the streets, you know what I mean? I know everybody say that, but I guess, you know, I'm from there too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know what I mean? I, I've been through a couple of things. I've been in prison. I've been shot. I, I hang around, you know what I mean? A, a couple rappers that, you know what I mean, that shoot people too. And, you know what I mean? We just, um, I just, like, basically, I give, I give honest opinions on things without being biased, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I don't care if I'm cool with you. My, my own friends know. Like if you if if you don't want me to say if you don't want certain shit to be said don't even say it around tax you know what I mean because right. they know I'm gonna get at them and that's just what it is it's just unfiltered as raw and I'm gonna just give you the honest opinion every trip because you're from East New York so like coming from that a- area like like and you seen this game like what goes through your mind some days I try to speak about it on Twitter and it's hard to speak about it because it's like I'm fr- the the people that I was raised by you know what I mean they were shooting the rappers. You know what I mean? They was robbing the rappers. They they in jail right now for the rest of their life. Like these are the dudes that raised me. So it's like now when I see like I, I see certain shit like artists come out here in New York and they just parade around. It's just happy go lucky. We going to New York. We going to get checks and they don't put nobody on. And I feel like that's a mm. part of what I do. I try to help the youth. You know what I mean? I try to help all the young dudes get up. Like all the little young goons in the street. That's why I help GS9. That's why I'm helping stack paper right now with the Millie Rock. And it's like, yo, man, you got to get these kids out of here. You coming out here to eat on our bill. To come to New York City, go go get a check from a promoter, and you yeah. ain't even telling nobody to open up for you or nothing. You got to pay homage, or you got to expect the wolves to be wolves. Pay that tax. It's all a respectful game because, I, you know, I'll do the, we'll do the same for you. We come to Atlanta, we'll pull you out. You know what I mean? It's a respect mm. game. It's not nobody trying to bully nobody. It's not L.A. where we telling you, yo, you got to pay, and it's that and the third. But see, L.A. is different from New York City. The way L.A. is formed is just gangs, and it's, different. it's a different type of level of respect. We don't have that respect in New York City. City. Everybody could be a gangster and anybody can be a gangster. So it's not like nobody who speaks to this one big person like, yo, we spoke to 50 and 50 said, you know what I mean? It's no like one person that you could speak to. Like there's goons within every circle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why should people listen to tax season? Listen, cause it's a re- it's reality. I, mm-hmm. It's it's unfiltered. It's reality. I'm not I'm not I'm not sugarcoating shit. I'm speaking straight from the heart, and I'm speaking from experience. And I'm letting motherfuckers know that all that all that tough guy shit, especially the rappers, chill out, chill out. You're not even like that. Like you know, you still chill the fuck out. You don't have to rap about seventy seven guns. Cause now when you go to these dudes club in South Carolina and they listen to that shit, they like they want to see what you about. I always God been bless like the Migos, that. Amigos, my nigga. God, I love them niggas. Love like. them. Yeah, love them. But you see, they're going to get tested everywhere they go. That's why That's they get in the fights every state because niggas is looking at them like, yeah, they took all this gun shit with all these chains. Niggas is poor, man. I always tell people that niggas is poor, man. You can't you can't be drinking champagne in front of beer sippers, my nigga. Everybody's like, yo, you talk that 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 realness mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And you've always said, I don't give a fuck. Nah, I'm not here like, for well, that. Where does that come from? You're not afraid of dying? Nah, cause I felt like I, I felt like I was supposed to die, man, years ago. So it was what, like, what do you mean you supposed to die? Like you know, growing up, you know, you always got teachers or or, or elders that just don't, they don't know how to deal with kids. This this problem child, so they tell them shit like, yeah, you are gonna be dead by this age or dead by that age. And the thing was was that I was really at the pace where I possibly could have died at 16 or 13, you know mm. what I mean? Because the shit that I was doing. So it's like me just surpassing all of that. I'm about to be 30 in August, you know yeah. what I mean? Me surpassing all that. I feel like, yo, I'm 16 past, you <laughs> understand what I'm saying? When I was supposed to go. So I feel like, you know what I mean? If you're gonna if you're gonna die, it's because you're supposed to die. You know what I mean? Mm. If it's not because of being super preventive and things of that nature, you know what I mean? Don't get it twisted. I'm, I'm all about preventing certain situations from ever occurring but you know what i mean when you when you when you out here like you understand like you know how to move and you're gonna speak what you speak and the 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 goons fuck with me you dig what i'm saying yeah they fuck with me everywhere every borough they fuck with me certain dudes that don't but i don't give a fuck tax stone tax season you know you got the show going on you got what are you looking to get out of this man 
man, I'm looking to get a whole bunch of money that I don't have to go sell drugs on the block. You understand right. what I'm saying? Respect. Give me some checks. If you want to hear me, motherfucker, support me. Don't motherfucker say, we want you to do this and you ain't support me. Support me, motherfucker. So I ain't got to be outside selling drugs. And so I ain't got to bust none of you niggas' heads. You mm-hmm. understand? I just reached out to a couple rappers that I know personally. And I hit them up in the DM like, yo, I need you to come on tax season. You know what I mean? Yeah. And one of the dudes, you know what I mean? I ain't going to say his name. He like, yo, you know, I don't really do press like that. I don't talk. And I'm like, listen, nigga, fuck all that. I need you to come. I need you to come to my fucking show yeah. so my shit can rise and I can get more advertisement exactly. and I can get legal money so I ain't got to be out here. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Do you want me out here? All right, then come on the show. Support. You know what I mean? And that's it. That's why I say to everybody, man, niggas, niggas ain't trying to do crime. Like, But, you know, if you put in a position to do crime, that's what happens. How you feeling about the way, like, the game is playing now? You got strippers that out of here. It's the, the bottle girls. <laughs> you look like you about to I love the bottle girls I love the strippers me But you too. know it's things to just There's certain things that get to me Like I got this saying where I say like If you if you, if you, if you gotta go to work half naked and, and serve bottles That mean your man is broke Because I feel like this If your man ain't broke He wouldn't have no, his woman don't. going to work half naked So if you do got a man He just don't give a fuck about you If he do got money You understand me? Yeah. Because no nigga wants his girl Parading around with thong leotards on Serving his enemies bottles You know what I mean? Mm. Especially these niggas in the street That sell drugs And they gangsters and thugs How is this bottle girl Your girl And she here Serving your enemies bottles She over here with mad sparkles And shit happy and shit <laughs> Fucking twerking her ass around So that's my only I thing. I, I respect the hustle as far as the ladies do. Yeah. Go get your money, feed yourself, however you got to feed yourself. But what I, the reason I come at them a lot is I don't. I felt like this. When you're in a certain position, you can't be judgmental. You know mm. what I mean? Like, I don't want the bum on the street to tell me, you know what I mean? Yo, you need to get your shit together. I'm going to look at him like, huh? You know what I mean? Same thing with them. If you go, if you got to go to work butt naked every night, that's because you need it. Don't tell me how up you are because you ain't up. Nobody that's up got to go to work naked every day. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just my outlook on them. But shout out to the bartenders. God bless. That's been one of my keys of surviving in the street. Yeah. It's not letting Never. dudes know what women I deal with because that's how you die. You know what I mean? As soon as Real motherfucker shit. find out who your bitch is, you on point. Your bitch not. Mm-hmm. Your bitch is not on point. So Explain what you're le- saying. Why your bi- what do you mean your bitch is not when on point? I mean point? your bitch is not on point. She living her life. She don't live the life you live. She mm-hmm. might fuck with a G. She might fuck with a gangster, whoever you are. But meanwhile, you got issues in the street. So somebody see y'all, y'all on Instagram. That's another thing. That's why I don't post my, my girl up on Instagram because I don't need nobody to know who she is. You follow her home from work, you follow her to me. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's just different ways that you got to move. And I, I actually learned, I actually seen like Charlemagne one day. I realized, I seen an article about him having a wife. And I said, holy shit, I never seen his wife. But I never. say he's very smart for he's that. Very smart. You're not supposed to have people know who your woman is, especially when you're highly disliked. Give us like a dope story. Like, it don't got to be anything in the street. Even mm-hmm. if you, it is, you don't got to give no name. Something like that s- sticks in your mind that no one's ever heard before. In jail, like the CO chicks used to get up and I used to go sniff their seats. You know okay. what I mean? <laughs> and I used to do it in front of them. Like, to the, what, what was the, the reasoning behind that? Cause I just wanted to fuck with the women, period. Okay. You know what I mean? I just was horny and I wanted to fuck with the women. I wanted to see how far I could get. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I would do certain things over and over again. And then one day, like this one CO came and she was like, Where's Campbell? Because that's my last name. Where's Campbell at? Where he at? So she came to myself. She like, You better not sniff my chair. But I could tell she wanted a chair sniffed. You know what I mean? <laughs> she done sprayed extra perfume. Long story shot. I, 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 I went and sniffed that chair later that night. She came by myself. She just talking to me. And then I'm like, This, fuck that. Let me go take a piss right in front. I took a piss. She looking at my dick. Next thing I know, I was getting jerked off through this shit. And that was just a great night for me. Me in prison. <laughs> Put the money in the bank like whoa. Hit the gas in a new rate like whoa. And I know these nigga hate, but I laugh in their face. Got a quarter million dollars on my wrist. Whoa.